Manila! <laughs> hey guys, I'm Drew Binsky and we're here in the Santa Andres area of Manila and I'm with my local friend Edwin. Hello everyone! <laughs> uh, and we're gonna take you all around this place today. We're gonna deliver food to the people, we're gonna deliver school supplies. And... Okay, come on, let's go! Manila is a city of contrasts, with over 21 million people living in the metropolitan area. The rich are really rich, and the poor are really poor. You've probably seen the rich areas from my recent videos while I've been living in Manila, but in today's video, you're gonna get a new perspective. Welcome to San Andres Bukit, Manila's smallest district by land area, but the second most densely populated, with over 120,000 people living within one square kilometer and on less than one US dollar per day. Here's a quick background on how this area was formed. After the destruction of World War II in the Philippines, many people moved to San Andres from the provinces because the area was open space. <laughs> The huge influx of settlers was not planned and therefore resulted in tight living conditions, narrow alleyways, and a lack of overall urban planning. I wanted to find a way to deliver food and school supplies to the kids here, so I got in touch with a local guy named Edwin who helped me execute this plan. I showed up at his house last Sunday afternoon. Nice to meet you, Nice bro. to meet you, brother. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Edwin Nombre. And this is the place where I live. This is uh, San Andres Bukid in Onyx. This house is where I was born and raised 41 years ago. Edwin is a fellow vlogger himself, and he started a charity called True Manila, which supports homeless children and families living in poverty areas across the Philippines. So True Manila is basically the name of the community. So we started the helping kids with education, food, clothes. We are even building houses, and that becomes from Manila. He's a great guy with an even greater heart and well respected in his community. You know Mike Tyson? Yeah. This is the Filipino Tyson. Oh, oh. oh. This is Pao Pao. Pao Pao. Wherever you go, if you meet him, he will say hi to you. Hi. So we're going to buy school supplies now. With 1,000 pesos, we can buy 100 pieces of notebooks. We are now delivering the notebooks that we just bought. In grade 6. One apple a day keeps the doctor, keeps away. The doctor away. We're going to buy fruits, not only from one uh, street vendor, but we're we're going to buy from all of them to support the locals with their small business. That's 10 pesos each. So we've got a little bit of a crowd following us. We here have a lot of apples. So we have uh, a total of 38 pieces of apples to feed the kids here. This meal is called Bentilog. Bentilog is 20 pesos meal. Now we're going to give it one by one to the kids. We bought 30 additional meals to feed these kids who are living on the street. <laughs> For you. Oh, yes, wow. Next, we loaded up on bananas and headed to a place that might surprise you the most. And now we're going to the hidden tunnel and in this area, we also have a lot of friends. So now we're going to... The area is covered in trash with scrapped together homes located under these train tracks on a very dirty river. So the toilet is this. Everything is here, the river. Once we enter, watch your head. A hundred plus people call this tunnel home where the ceiling is no more than four feet high. When it's raining, the water can go up to this level. Oh my God. So all of them need to leave. I honestly couldn't believe what I was witnessing. Okay. You're welcome. We've reached the end of the tunnel now. Just delivered a bunch of bananas to the people. It's very hot and sweaty in there and man, that's tough living conditions. So we're taking a tricycle tour around and I asked Edwin a question that many of you are probably wondering. Is it safe to come here? It's safe because the people here know each other. So if someone did something bad to you, they know who did that, okay? Also, when you're a foreigner and you visit, they feel a little bit special because someone is visiting them from the other country. We want to remove that stereotype idea of Squatters area is a dangerous place. No. Where are you from? US. <laughs> nice to meet you. America. America, America. <laughs> Gambling is here. It's like Las Vegas. <laughs> Believe me or not, but I found the people in San Andres to be overly friendly, happy, and welcoming. I didn't once feel unsafe or harmed. 90% of the people I saw had a big smile on their face, despite living in very tight quarters and having limited access to the internet, toilets, and hot showers. It's all about perspective. So if you want to donate, click the link below, uh, donate now. And if you help, we're going to send you a video or a picture of the kid that we are helping. So you can see where your money is going exactly. from this video. Thank you very much for coming uh, here, bro. Thank you very Thank much. You, man. It's really a pleasure. 